here are three helpful gestures that every iPhone owner should know. Let's get it. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. Your iPhone is full of gestures, from accessing the home screen to going back to Control Center, but here are three that I see constantly underutilized. Let me know down below in the comments if you knew about or use all three of these. Starting out with the classic, the long hold. Throughout your phone, long pressing can invoke all sorts of different menus, settings, or options. It really depends on where you are on your phone. For example, long hold on an app icon to reveal many in-app shortcuts. News can jump to my frequent sources. Photos can go to my most recent photo. And camera can jump you to a specific camera, like the selfie cam. Apple used to have something called 3D Touch that did this. Now Apple moved it to like this haptic touch feature. It's still a little bit buried, but you will be surprised at how many places long hold works throughout your phone. Anywhere there is text, like online, you can long hold to select a word. Then you can just drag the selection to left and right to expand that selection. In the camera app, you can long hold to lock the exposure and focus, so as you move the camera, it doesn't blow out or get too dark. Within messages, you can long hold on that arrow to send a different bubble or screen effects with your message. Even though there is no single use for this, it's one of the most widely used gestures across iPhone and iPad. Back tap is another really handy gesture for iPhone users. It's literally what it sounds like. You just tap the back of your phone and boom, you've invoked a back tap. This isn't on by default though, so you do need to enable it. It's technically an accessibility setting. You can go into settings, accessibility, and touch, or just search back tap in the settings app. You can choose either a double tap, a triple tap, or both. Apple gives you tons of default choices to trigger, like turning on the flashlight, opening notification center, or quickly locking your iPhone with just that tap. I like to tie it to a series of shortcuts. To do it, I assign the back tap to the action button. Then I go into the action button and set that to open a folder of shortcuts. So I don't have to reach up for the action button or into control center or anything like that. I can just tap the back of my phone and get access to some of the most used commands and apps from literally anywhere in the system. It is surprisingly handy and I use it all the time. Like honestly, sometimes even like more than the action button that I also have set to that menu. Let me know what you would set to this little back tap feature down below in the comments. I really wanna hear your ideas for inspiration. I bet most of you didn't know this. Whenever you are working with text, literally anywhere with text entry, you can tap the screen with three fingers. This brings up the clipboard manager. You can undo what you did, cut selected text, copy selected text, paste from the clipboard or redo an action. I love being able to do this and it makes text entry really easy. And honestly, like the undo feature is way easier than like shaking your phone, which is another kind of gesture you can use to undo things. Especially it helps when you're in a browser or a text message when there usually aren't the extra editing controls on screen, like there sometimes can be in notes or mail. It'll even work in a browser, just a super useful little trick. So did you know any of these? Let me know down below in the comments and be honest. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.